Welcome to the preview of my Dynamic Habit Tracker, available in my Etsy shop. So to begin with, the first thing I want to point out is that all of these checkboxes are created dynamically and only if there's something listed under Habits. So for instance, if I were to add Take Vitamins, and maybe I want to do that seven days a week, and then you'll see that these checkboxes have now appeared and that will continue throughout the entire month, all right? And if I wanted to add another one, maybe I want to do yoga three times a week, and again, we have the checkboxes appear for that. Conversely, if I were to delete a habit, the checkboxes go away all throughout the month. And this is actually written in code in AppScript. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is this quote of the day. And this is randomly generated at the beginning of each day, actually at midnight of each day. And again, this is dynamically coded in the background as well. Here is our start date. And if I were to change this to a day where there, sorry, a month that only has 30 days, let's go back to September 1st. And if I scroll all the way to the end, you'll see that there is no 31st here. But if I were to go and change that to a month with 31 days, like October, this will then appear. Now, let's talk about our goals. For me, I have daily goals, but I also have goals that I don't want to do daily, like walk three miles. I just know for myself, um, sometimes I just really can't get it in to walk. And so I put it down that I only want to walk three times a week. And what I have here is our weekly goals. And that means if I did seven, if I completed all my goals, so, so for the instance, to journal is seven days a week. And if I did that, I get this little trophy. If one of the days I did not journal, it gets a red X, which means I did not complete my weekly goal for that habit. Okay. And for walking three miles, I've done it one, two, three times this week, so I get a little trophy. And this all adds up to a percentage of how many goals I achieved this week based on the goals that I set for myself per week. Like I said, sometimes you have daily goals, sometimes you have goals or habits that you just want to do a couple times a week. Like for me, walking three miles, walking three times a week is, is my goal, all right? Maybe, um, like I said before, if I want to do yoga and I'm only doing that twice a week and I do it maybe Wednesdays and Fridays, boom, my goal has been achieved. Great. Now, I also want to talk to you about these flowers and let's scroll to this one. Okay. When you start out and you have not achieved any of your goals, you're going to get this dead plant and we don't want that, right? So let's create some life in these vases. And let's go ahead and finish off our journal goal. We've got that goal, we're at 17%, still okay, not great. And we're gonna meditate five days a week. I'm gonna add that. Oh look, I'm now at 33%. So anything over 25% of my goals for that week, I don't care if I have one, two, three, or 10, this will calculate the percentage of goals I have achieved. Now, suppose I am now doing yoga and I'm doing it Wednesdays and Fridays and I've achieved 50% of my goals. And at 50%, I get three flowers in my goals. And let's say I've done three, I walk three miles, three days a week. I'm still at 67, still have the three flowers, which is fine. And what else? I'm gonna do, let's, do reading four times. So I read four times this week and now I'm over 75% and now I've achieved the full vase. So your goal is to fill your vase based on your weekly goals. All right, I will leave a link to this habit tracker in the description below. And also I love to build spreadsheets. The more complicated, the better. So if you have an idea for a spreadsheet that you would like to see built and have a tutorial based on that, please drop a comment below and I'd be more than happy to do it. I hope you find this habit tracker useful and I'll see you in the next video.